4.2 Rolle's theorem and the mean value theorem. Rolle's theorem. Let f be continuous on a closed interval from a to b and differentiable on an open interval from a to b. If f of a equals a, if f of a equals f of b, then there is at least one c in the open interval a to b such that the derivative of f of c equals zero. Okay. So first of all, the function f has to be continuous on a closed interval, a to b. That's condition one. Also, it has to be differentiable on an open interval, a to b. That's condition two. Then it says, if f of a is equal to f of b, that's condition three, then there's at least one c and a in the open interval a comma b, such that the derivative of f of c equals zero. So let's go through that. Let's look at this example here. So first of all, we have a function here, and it's on a closed interval from a to b. Right? You got some function f here, and it's on a closed interval from a to b. That's condition one. Condition two, it has to be differentiable on the open interval from a to b. So if you look at this right here, it's differentiable everywhere there from the open interval from a to b. Okay, so condition one, check. Condition two, check. Now, f of a has to be equal to f of b. f of a here is equal to f of b. So that's check, that's condition three. Then when all of these conditions are met, then there must be some c value such that the derivative of f of c is equal to zero, which the c value here, this would be equal to f prime of c. That would be equal to zero because the derivative here would be zero. Okay? So, um, here's an example where it works. Here's an example where it doesn't work. Let's look at here. Condition one, yes, f is still continuous on the closed interval from A to B. That's still true here, right? It's still continuous on the closed interval here. Condition two, differentiable on the open interval from A to B. Here, this does not meet this criteria because right here it's not differentiable. So it's a sharp point there. So you couldn't use Rolle's theorem here. So you would write um, Rolle's theorem does not apply because it's not differentiable on the function, uh, differentiable on the open interval from A to B. Let's try an example here. So example one, find the two x-intercepts of the function and show that f prime of x is equal to zero at some point between the two x-intercepts. So first of all, let's find the x-intercepts. So let's take the function, set it equal to zero, solve for x. Let's factor here, let's make this x, um, x minus 2 times x minus 1. So this would be equal to x equals 2 
and x equals 1. So I have my x-intercepts. There's 1, there's 2. The parabola here, we know it's a parabola. We know it's an upward, it's an opening upwards. The parabola is going to look something like this. Okay. We want to show that there is some f prime of x that equals 0 at some point here. Okay. And I think you can see here that the derivative right here, f prime of x would have to equal 0 there, at that point there. Okay, so we're going to figure out what this point is based on using the Rolle's theorem. Okay, so when we're using Rolle's theorem, First condition, um, f is continuous on the closed on the closed interval a to b. And for this problem, the closed interval is going to be from 1 to 2. 2. F is differentiable on the open interval from A to B. For this one, it's going to be from the open interval from 1 to 2. Uh, next, f of a has to be equal to f of b. So f of 1 has to be equal to f of 2, which is equal to 0, so that that's good. If you have all of this, we can conclude that there is some f of c that is equal to 0. So we're trying to find this c value here. So to figure that out, we're going to take the derivative of f of x, I'll call it f of c, take the derivative of this, this is going to be 2c minus 3, set it equal to 0, solve for c, Three equals two c divide by two. C equals three halves or one and a half. So that would be the c value when f the derivative of f of c equals zero.